Alright, let's continue learning about tabs, and in this tutorial, we'll learn how to set fill characters in your tabs menu. I'm going to continue working in the same text box that I was before in my previous one where we set three different alignments in using tabs. So let's start off by typing in just some different text. So let's do type in introduction. I'm going to hit tab once, type in a name, hit return, welcome tab, hit return, speaker, tab, hit return, and finally closing remarks. Hit tab. Now notice when I hit tab this time, it automatically jumped over to my center alignment. That's because, if you'll notice, closing remarks goes just beyond this left tab that we first set. So the next tab that it would uh, jump to would be this center tab that we already assigned it. What I want to do is have all my names on the right hand side, on the opposite side of whatever that they were doing for this, um, this alignment. So to do this, I'm going to select the type that I just typed out. I'm going to open up my tabs dialog box by going to style and down to tabs. And I'll bring up my little paragraph tabs uh, window. You can see I still have some tabs set from the first time. And if I wanted to clear these off, I can either click and drag them off, or I can hit the Clear All button, and you'll notice that they're all cleared away now. <clears throat> now, what I want to do is to have, of course, all my names on the right-hand side. So let's choose the right, and I'm going to click the right just above the number 6. I'm going to click once, and this time, instead of hitting just hitting Apply, I'm going to hold down my Option key on my keyboard, and click on apply and now you can see that my apply remains held down so now if I click and I drag my tab wherever I move it to it'll automatically jump to it and I don't have to keep hitting the apply button and that's really handy so for quickly uh, creating tabs and changing them up on the fly so let's move it back over to the six inch mark and what I want to do with a fill character is to have a little dot connecting the uh, words on the left hand side to the names on the right hand side so your eye can easily follow it. You may have seen these in a lot of brochures or different little pamphlets that you get before you go to a movie or to the theater. You can see the actor and what they're playing on the playbill. So to do this we use the fill character <coughs> uh, box in your tabs dialog box. And I'm just going to click on it and type in a period and automatically you can see it'll fill that uh, void in with whatever character you've typed in and that's how you can fill a character in and uh, get that special effect you can type in any character so let's say if I wanted to fill it with nines I can type in nine and automatically it's filled up with that or dashes and you get the uh, dashed effect from there but for this I'm just going to hit the period and it goes all the way across just like that and that's how you set the fill characters in your tabs to begin with. So I'm going to hit OK. And the this character is set in. So now if I continue typing, so if I do Act 1, and I hit Tab again, you can see it automatically applies those characters in there. And I can type in whatever text I want. And as I type, it'll automatically adjust and fill in the rest of those characters. So I can do Act 2, Tab again and continue on typing as such. 